I'm going to make some French toast. Something that's really tasty for breakfast and it isn't difficult at all. It is so easy. I'm going to make it with raisin bread. Cinnamon raisin bread because that makes it extra special. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of cinnamon, things that taste good in the morning. You can also make it with regular bread. And the ingredients you'll need are eggs. And I've got some eggs that came from cage-free chickens. So the chickens were happy when they gave those eggs. And some milk. Uh, you need a little silverware, something to turn the French toast, a knife for your butter and a fork to mix up the eggs. I got a little dish here so I can put the, the eggy fork on something. And I'm going to put butter in the skillet. It adds a little bit of flavor and it cooks nice on the butter. But I've also used margarine. And if you have do use margarine, make sure it's a cooking margarine. Or you could use a little vegetable oil, whatever you like to use when you're cooking. So I'll start out, I'm only going to make a little French toast because there's just two of us for breakfast this time. So I'll break... I'll break about three eggs, and uh, these are nice eggs. They're large. I almost put that back in the box. So there we go. They look good. Make sure they look good. They smell good. These are nice and fresh. The store is usually dependable, but you always have to check if they don't seem right. I got a little bit of raw egg on my fingers. If they don't seem right, uh, you know, take them back and get some other eggs, but mostly they're fresh. And we'll add a little bit of milk, just a little bit, as you can see. Oh, I suppose that's a couple of tablespoons full. And that's all you need. It lightens it up a little bit. It's something I've always used. And I, I put very little salt because you have a little salt in the bread, a little salt in the butter, so you really don't need much salt. They say we all eat too much salt, so I just put a little tiny bit like that. And I'm going to put a little pepper. I'm using this little pepper grinder because that seems to be the thing to do. And I'm going to beat that up. Now doesn't that look nice? And that's so easy. And we managed not to eat all the raisin bread. This, is, this raisin bread is good because it tastes good just right out of the bag. And that's a good test. And also, I like it because it has a little gram of fiber. And it has a few vitamins. That's always a good thing but you use whatever kind of raisin bread you like. Cinnamon, non-cinnamon, from the baker shop, from the regular grocer. And you just dip it down here and you, I'm gonna go over to the, uh, the skillet and get it started. I turn it on to about medium, put a little bit of butter in, just enough to, to cover the bottom of the pan. I don't really want a lot of butter in it. And we've got it started. This one sat for a little while in the eggs, so this one's gonna have plenty of egg in it. You actually don't need to leave it there that long. That's number one. Let me bring the other toast. The other bread, rather. It's gonna be toast. And you just put it there in the eggs for a second or two, turn it over. You can soak it as much as you like. Of course, if you soak it too much, it's going to go to pieces. But uh, this is pretty nice solid raisin bread. And what could be easier? And everyone likes it so much. And of course, with your raisin French toast, 
Um, you can have frozen strawberries or fresh fruit, any kind of fresh fruit you like, a little bit of applesauce, whatever you enjoy in the morning. And with your French toast, maybe some bacon, orange juice, whatever, but just French toast like this on raisin bread is delicious with a little bit of margarine or butter and your coffee. And um, excuse me, I had disappeared there for a minute because I had to get this. This is very important to get it turned. You want it to be maybe a little more brown than that. I might have hurried that one a little bit. Maybe my skillet wasn't quite hot enough when I put it in. And just turn it over. And I'm gonna let that brown a little nicer on the other side. Sometimes it comes out a little prettier, but however it comes out, believe me, it's very tasty. And it's just so easy. French toast on, on regular plain bread is good. I like it. But um, I think this is preferred when you use the raisin bread. It's so good. Now that browned up a little bit and it looks really nice. You put the next one over. And of course you want it to cook through because it, it's eggs. So you can't take it right out and wait till it browns a little bit. I've got my next slice ready to go. Now because there's just two of us, I'm really only going to make about six slices. And we're going to have a few other little items with it. It smells so good. That raisin and cinnamon, that gives it a nice smell. It's a nice way to start the morning. I'm just giving it another second or two and then I'll put the, it on the plate here and you know if you're making quite a bit if there are quite a few of you um, you might want to turn the oven on now that got pretty brown but not burned just nice and uh, turn the oven on low and put it in another little pan and put it in the oven and let it stay warm until you get it all done if you're making a lot so that you can sit down with everyone else which my family always says when are you going to sit down sit down now i'm going to stop right there and just show you there's your french toast ready to put on the table you can make six slices 12 slices in no time and all you need, the fresh eggs, a little bit of milk, a little tiny bit of salt and pepper, and you've got it. And it's so delicious. It really is. And I thank you for watching. I'll talk to you again later. Bye.